saying was now in terms of state school, after you do your two years of core classes, your community class, we suggest you actually transition over to a state school. Um, after yes, community college. After community college. Yes, they're going to try to feed you that BS in terms of go to private school because the classes are smaller. It's 10 to 15 people. The professors, you'll get one-on-one -on -one direction with them. You'll yeah, be able to go ahead oh, and speak and to them one-on-one. the classes will be on your and, schedule and yes, your, your time. Schedule, your time. You don't have to go actually into mm -hmm. the actual school. You can actually do online. You're going to pay for that. You're going to pay for it. And it doesn't make any sense because let me tell you something. What I love about state schools actually is that that private schools do not have is I think that all college students should be involved in some sort of activities. You will not get that at a private school, okay? You will not get any type of activities. You will not get any type of um, band or any type of like that dancing, that drum line type of thing. You won't get any type of nothing, no athletic like anything there, you know what I'm saying? You will not be able to join any fraternities or sororities if you're interested in that. For the working None adults, you're probably not going to be interested. No, in you're not going to be that. interested. So private colleges would be more so for you because of flexibility. But things you like got to have that coin. But if you yeah. don't have that coin. Yeah. Mm -mm. That otherwise, I'm telling you yeah, now, the money is not going to be worth it. Um, but and I, don't do not please don't waste your time taking the first two years at a regular university or college because they're teaching you the exact same stuff exact professor okay. a professor yeah. is a professor it doesn't make sense to take math english science classes you know basic um requirements for the first two years elective it don't make sense to take any of that at a private university or a um or even, state school yeah or even a state college who wants to you're paying who way wants? more let's for the let's, exact let's same add income. it up you get for a community college you get, I'll say about maybe at the most, $1,000 to $1,500, maybe like a semester, a quarter, well, they call it quarters, kind of. Mm -hmm. So a quarter, which means that you can pay that out of pocket, have a family member help you, work to pay it, or whatever the case may be, $1,500, as opposed to $6,000 plus for a private school, for a math class, the yeah. same damn math class yeah. that you can take yeah. anywhere. Here's another misconception that employers are going to be far more impressed that you went entire four years at a so-called reputable college. Georgia State's Like up I said, I worked in human resources for two different companies. We actually don't care, no. okay? While it may be impressive that you went to a certain college, it doesn't matter that you went the whole four years. As much as it mattered, you went maybe the last two years for your main yes. course, okay? So... Once again, it is okay to go to a community college for the first two years to get all the little um, basic stuff out yeah. of the way for far less. The it's it's thing, so the much less that you can really hooks. pay for it out of pocket almost practically. Exactly. Practically, you really could. Yes. So um, take that into account. If you do not have any funds to go to college, you can consider going into the military, probably the Air Force, yes. the Navy, um, the Guard, or something of that sort, and you can earn money for college that way yes. i actually have a brother who did that okay i suggested that was an alternative and he took it and he's doing great he has the funds to go to school now and he's going to the school that he actually wants to go to exactly. in the program he wants exactly. to and he doesn't feel behind in fact he got the chance to travel the world and he has the discipline that is taking him so far, you know? Um, but military is not for everybody. It's not. It's so definitely not for everybody. There's other alternatives such as... That's um, a different... That's Look, that's a different talk because yeah. that's a whole line there's of discussion. Other, there's other alternatives. But, um, yes, there's other alternatives that you guys can take. There's other programs where you can travel abroad and volunteer and earn money to go to school. Yes. Job Corps. Job Corps. Job Corps. When you're just now coming out of high school, Job Corps can assist you. With they also have a program for those who are going back for their master's. So there's other alternatives to get money to go to school. Yes. On top of that, like I said, you get to travel the world and gain real life experience that you will take with you for a lifetime. Okay. So. And also, let me just say one thing. In terms of if you decide not to go to college, I know that, especially the youth out here, not the older adults are actually thinking about transitioning back into going to college or the first time going to college. I'm speaking this specifically to the youth. The youth th sees everything. Social media is so big, um, it's crazy. So I just want to say that if you decide not to go to college, please don't do not rely on thinking that you can be a social media uh, 
what do you call it? A so, influencer, a social media. You might actually be one able to night, do that, but one night, one night hit wonder or anything like that because it's not guaranteed. I'm not gonna say that you cannot do it. Okay, your chances are just slim. You can. You can do it if you want to put your mind to it, but don't let that be your end all be all because of the fact of you see so many of these people getting a check or you see so many of the pe these people in the limelight because it's social media. It might not be you. So always have a plan B. Do not just have that have plan A. Have don't an alternative put all your eggs in, in one, one basket. basket. Have a plan yeah. B. Have yeah. a plan C. If you don't want to go to college, trust me. There are so many different ways that you can find a trade, especially for our men out there. Wait a minute. Yeah, there's skill trades, yeah. Skill trades in, in the unions. There's real the estate. Unions are excellent. There's real estate. You don't even have to have a college degree. You can actually yeah. start working for a mortgage company or a broker mm -hmm. and actually learn mm -hmm. the ropes, you know, from the ground up. But where I'm saying is, please, if you're not going to go to college, just make sure that you do do enough research in the profession that you do want to follow and you know the steps how to get to where you want to go. But college is not a 100% option. Please do not let your parents pressure and push college on you. And me or and Autumn's generation, so will, yeah. education, back then when we got out of high school, was pushed upon us. They it was, said, if you don't go to college, yes. you're going to be flipping, flipping burgers, burgers and fries somewhere. At the local McDonald's, yeah, your Burger checkers, King. making those good old french fries. Ooh, those or, french fries. Or that, you were, french fries. or that you weren't, mm. weren't going to do well in life. And yes. I can honestly say... They were wrong. They were wrong. They were wrong. Okay, because every time a new year goes by, a, it, it you know everything starts expanding. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what's what's going to involve. The it, industry it, has changed. Yes, so fast. drastically. Yeah, so fast. Like she said, drastically. You can't go by the standard status quo anymore. No. Figure out what's right for you. Do your research. Investigate. Research. Ask Investigate. questions. Talk to people who are doing what you're doing already. Yes. And make sure you do, you do your due diligence and you put in your time and you put in your effort. And honey, you can start a business. There's so many So many options you for you guys to do. Whether you are 15, 16, set, well, no. When did you get out of high school? You're 18. <laughs> so whether you're 18. No, some are 17. Well, some 17, yeah. 17. Whether you're yeah. 17 or you're 55 years old, the ones that are considering going back to school or not going back to school, there's several things for you to do out here. Do your research. Like she said, do your research. And I'm telling you, dreams are promised. Okay? The only thing that I do need to say is it's going to be work. I have experienced that. <laughs> Living this many years, it is not easy. It is going to be work. So if you decide that you don't want to go to college and work for a company, it's, you want to build your own company. Nothing is hard easy. work. No, nothing determination. Is easy. And what's the key? What's the C key, girl? Consistency. Be, 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 per, be per, Okay, you do the most. <laughs> be persistent. Just be persistent. And don't give up. But it's all effort that you have to put in nothing is going to be just cake you just eat your cake and have it too and you're not putting any effort or whatever nothing has to be hard either though i'm you know i kind of tired that they teach people work hard dream big work smart dream big remember that and okay? get it done yeah thank you signing yeah. off so much that's signing off that's what we have to say for our college discussion today With peace pretty and love girl politics. pretty girl politics and we'll be back to you guys for another episode